Hey everybody, uh, this is our 1978 Volkswagen camper. Uh, most of it was restored by my dad, so I consider it my dad's camper. Uh, today we're going to replace the window regulator on the driver's side. All right, here's the inside of the door. Uh, last fall I was rolling the window up and it got to about this far up and the uh, gearing kind of blew out where I could roll the window down but couldn't roll it up. So you know, I had to replace this whole thing in the spring. So it's been tucked away in storage for the winter because we're in Maine and we just brought it out and I'm going to touch it up for the summer. Um, so this is the piece we're going to be replacing. I ordered a new one from uh, SoCal Imports actually, um, as well as the brace for the window. And hopefully it'll be pretty, pretty easy. It's uh, just a few bolts, but you know how that can go. All right, we got that bolt taken care of. Got the windows taped up. Uh, I used packing tape because it was the only tape I could find in the house. Um, but we got it all nice and secure. Let's take out those bolts. We'll take out, uh, I already took one out and then realized what I had forgot to do. So take out those bolts, take out these guys, and uh, take out this piece. All right, we got the bolts removed. This is uh, ready to come out. Um, and it's something I was kind of excited to see if I could get work. But uh, this this bolt right here holds in this piece, this support brace for the quarter window. Uh, and there's another 10 mil bolt in there. Uh, the thing I've been excited is to try is I watched another YouTube video where they just popped this bolt out and put a chisel up in here um, and just kind of made a little space so you could get that piece of metal out from its encasement up in here. Um, so we'll see if we can get that to work. All right, that took maybe two minutes to get out. A little take your watches off and uh, hopefully you have kind of small hands uh, but I took the bolt out in here and then use my big old screwdriver to get it between the layers Ooh, hey. there we go so you can get the screwdriver between the silver layer and then the painted layer and you can give yourself a little bit of space and you can pull the window crank out regulator through there because you only need like a quarter inch of space how I'm getting it back up there we'll see hopefully it's just as easy all right let's put it back in all right here's the new regulator with the old regulator uh, I do have to say I'm not super impressed with the teeth on this new regulator compared to the uh, old one, but uh, they're just really not very deep, uh, and when you're using handles that are made of pot metal, they're going to strip out really fast. Uh, so anyway, um, I did put the crank on it to make sure it worked and to change where that brace is for the window uh, shelf, because it was way down here. Um, but it's ready to go in. Okay, going in is definitely not as easy as taking it out. Um, you see my little finger, uh, that's that pinch point where that we took out that bolt. Um, this piece right here is actually the where the struggle bus is. Uh, that is, what's that's the runner for the window. Um, so I am trying to sneak this is the regulator. I'm trying to sneak that through between this pinch point and this window runner. Um, so trying a few 
finesse sticks and uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, hard part done. We got it through this little obstacle course. Um, I definitely dinged it up a little bit with my prying. Uh, I probably wouldn't recommend what I just did. So I pushed the metal, I put the, pushed the silver metal in uh, with a Phillips head so I could sneak the pipe in between those two layers. Um, and as I mentioned, this, this piece comes down to here and really gets in the way of things. So um, I used my handy uh, hammer and giant um, flathead screwdriver to force it up into this area. Uh, not something I would probably recommend. Definitely dinged up some things uh, on the inside. Hopefully everything still works. Uh, but we have crank in place, getting ready to bolt those in, bolt that in, and then we'll lower the window and attach it to this piece here. Uh, hopefully everything went well. That did not feel very successful, even though it was. All right, just taking a quick break to complain a little because I'm not super excited about this, the way this is lining up. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can find some happy medium that I can get most of the bolts in, but they're not really lining up and uh, we'll see what happens. Burf. All right, we got all the bolts in except for this one because it's not durable. Uh, it's kind of a pain. This this drop bar was a little bit long, so if you screwed in these, these, if you screwed in the top, the bottom wouldn't line up, and if you screwed in the bottom, the top wouldn't line up. So uh, probably could have solved it by taking it out and cutting a little bit off the bottom of that pipe, but I wasn't gonna do that. Uh, so we're going with one screw loose, which is probably better than I normally operate with. Uh, okay, now we're gonna drop the window and attach the saddle to this, and we'll be very close to done. We just have to put the panel back on. All right, so part complaint number, I, I think three. Uh, these holes are not drilled for uh, the right bolts. So uh, I've tried a few things. It is considerably smaller than uh, the standard bolts that are all over the place. Um, so I'm gonna take a trip to the old hardware store after going through our collection of nuts and bolts uh, and not coming up with anything. Um, anyway, so this is where we're at window is almost attached. We're almost done. Uh, see you in a bit. All right, we're back. Little half hour trip to the hardware store. Picked up some. Uh, these ended up being number 10 half inch bolts with washers and nuts. Uh, seems to hold it pretty well. That Those holes are just ridiculously small. Uh, show you. This is the size of the bolt that fits through it. And somewhere in here I have it in my pocket. Okay, I don't know where That's about the size of the... Okay, so this is about the size of the bolt that normally goes in there and this is the size of the bolt that actually fits. So if you end up getting the SoCal uh, regulator, be prepared to find a different part for that. Um, yeah, let's put this baby together and see how it looks. All right, panel's on. Yay, panel. Um, before I put the window cranks on, I want to show you. So I picked up these really beautiful cranks because I was looking for something that was not crappy pop metal. Uh, I got these from J-Bugs. I'm very happy with them. Um, however, I wanted to show you. So this, these are the old garbage ones that nobody likes. Um, but the depth on the um, that ribbing is super different. 
uh, see that space before you get into the ribbing on these. Uh, if you try them on uh, the regulator I took out, that's too shallow and then the ribbing doesn't actually hit because uh, it's only that deep. So uh, thankfully this is a longer ribbing even though it's really shallow grooves going back to my first complaint about this particular replacement part. So um, I'm really excited about those window cranks, but just be sure if you pick them up uh, that you've got longer ribbing on your uh, window regulator.